freaking terrible. But we'll work hard to solve the format. Seven wins. And I'm sure we'll make it there. All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome to Bronze to Mythic. The show where we draft my account from Bronze to Mythic. Dominaria United Bronze to World. We're playing the World Championship at the end of October. And this is my practice for it, which is super great. So we're three drafts in. We've had three very, very different decks and a bunch of great games. So, so far, uh, we got a big thumbs up for this format. Dominar United drafts. Let's get right back into our next queue and just uh, just keep on going, right? Anything you miss is on YouTube, folks. You saw the uh, little uh, thing over there. Make sure you sub the YouTube channel. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Do all the stuff. We do episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on YouTube. And you're not going to miss those. Full set on the main channel. Ten new bruises up. And, uh... We're just, we're just going. We're just doing it. She Old Red has been called in chat as our open. Let's, uh, let's do it. I'm in. That card is a lot better than I thought it was. Just makes me feel dumb, but that's okay. <laughs> Happens. We all miss stuff. We all miss things sometimes. Let's go. Ooh, that is not. Oh, the, the rankings are up now. Look at that. Untap.gg, sort of up. Kind of up. They're getting there. The set's brand new, so we got the, uh, LSD rankings, the, uh, Draftsman's not up yet, but again, untapped actually down when it's free. It's super awesome. Opened up a pretty good rare. So, of course, the floor here is 4-4 four, four flyer for 4, and that's really, really good. Everything else is just a bonus. So, L Dragon War is going to be a pick for sure. Uh, Missionary is great. Um, and everything else here. I mean, Terra Thunder is fine. And Sentry by... Yeah, this is a very, very easy Elder Dragon War. Not even close. First pick. Pick 1. Pack 1. Draft 4. We're in. What kind of deck is going to be? I have no idea. But I know this card's great. Pack two. We have a uncommon missing. And there's a Frost Fist Strider here, which is a, a, a bomb card. Uh, Berg Strider was an insane common in Kaldheim. This is just Berg Strider, but a lot better. It's always on. has Ward. We have Berg Strider. We have a, a Writhing Necromask. Pretty solid card. Prodigy, Outrider, but yeah, it's a pretty easy Frost Fist Strider, I think. And Blue Red seems pretty good. So, uh, yeah, Marrow's pretty cool, too, actually. Pretty cool domain payoff. But, there we go. Frost Fist Strider, come on down. Pack number three, we see a rare and uncommon missing. There's another Riding Necromass. There's a Tainted Eyeslit. Eyeslit. World's Frenzy, Choking uh, Miasma. Um, definitely have a lot of, you know, blue and red pips already. Uh, so the question is, you know, the blue and red cards here are not very good. Frenzy's pretty good, but, like, more of an aggressive card. Um, Fury Spells, Smash to Dust. Writhing Necromass is pretty good. I feel like it's Necromass, the land. That's really, uh, really our options here, I think. Eyes slit. <laughs> um, I'll take the land. Keep it open. Keep it open. All right, we got a Sky Knight. We just had this, had this card in our last deck. It's a pretty sweet card. We've got uh, Mirror Enforcer, Soaring Drake, Molten Monstrosity, Enthrall to the Pit, the Threaten with the Sacrifice built into it, which is cute. Tribute to Orborg is kind of kind of cool, honestly, for like a blue fucking like Grixis deck. Um, hmm. Tend to try and intentionally draft different decks, even though I think Sky Knight's really, really good. I don't know if uh, that's the card we want here. Tribute to Orborg is pretty sweet. I think kind of a Grixis-y or mobile spell control deck. It's like, it's like the, the pro variant. Um, I wish I'd taken, taken the Writhing Mass if I uh, had done that, but let's take the, the Tribute here. Let's uh, pass on Sky Knight. Did Sky Knight last draft. Let's try and do some Grixis stuff. See how that works out for us. And not great, apparently. Uh, not a lot of stuff here for us at all. Bone Splinters is okay if you have things to sacrifice. We don't really have uh, have that going on so far. You know, some whatever cards. You know, Follow Some Cabo is fine. Uh, I got the old Bulwark here. If we're going to be playing, uh, we can try out the the wall deck. Imagine your wall deck would want to be in these colors. But... Uh, um, The land is double off color in theory. I'm thinking, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take the wall thing. Let's keep an eye out for the wall stuff. I mean, we'll try that. Oh, boy. All right, so this bag is 
Much better than the last pack. Holy crap. There's like five cards here we, we, we actively want really bad. Uh, there's Lookout, which is phenomenal. It's probably going to be our pick. Espionage is great also. Uh, just draw two, discard a card. Just good value, which is nice. Uh, Tribute Orbrook's also fine. Tessacrator's fine. But yeah, Lookout's awesome. This card's one of the best, if not the best, blue commons. It trades, it flies, it draws cards, put cards in the graveyard. Uh, I love it. I'm all in. Not necessarily black either. We have a uh, one black card at the moment, so S soaring Drake, molten monstrosity, which honestly isn't that bad, given that we have a couple four power creatures already. Drake monstrosity, uh, probably the only two reasonable picks here. Haven't cast this card yet. Um, Again, we're not really a very creaturey deck, though. Let's try it. Drake is just too mundane, I think. Um, Turtle? Not very good. Cavalier, some green cards. Take the land. We'll just take land and be, can we have a flexible paths open. More red cards. No blue cards. Which is not ideal. Blue, blue, actually, blue, blue actually doesn't seem very open here. That's Karn. Everyone's had a Karn. I am Karn. Uh, all these cards are pretty un un unassuming. Uh, red green, maybe. I guess like red green is like a possible path. Our blue blue is kind of thinning out, honestly. So we'll see. It's definitely in the super open portion of things. We're kind of just feeling things out. You don't. This is the, at this point in the draft. You don't need to be anything yet. You're kind of just taking cards, looking for the open lane. Very, very important to find the open lane in modern day Magic because um, there's so many playables. You never have, you never ever run out of playables. So, all right, we have the Outrider is pretty sweet. Uh, just gonna be a, a you know volcanic hammer for your face. The barricade gonna be cool in the land deck. I mean, the, in the wall deck, we haven't missed any wall stuff. Just take the Outrider here. We're definitely uh, we're a little chunky on the curve, but so we have one black card. We have one green kicker. We have some red cards and blue cards. Again, Frenzy is good, but not really in like a... It's more good in the, the Necromass table also, actually. That's pretty good. All right. Necromass plays all the uh, Monstrosity, too, right? Oh, it's, it's each, each card in your graveyard, not each uh, not the Mana Claw. So, another Monstrosity. All right. This is interesting. So, red seems open. Uh, writhing Necromass. Yeah, green would green pairs well with the mon monstrosity, um, and obviously we can do some domainy stuff also. Let's see, what we get here. So pack two, we open up a stronghold arena. We open, open this card up earlier. It seems kind of mediocre. Uh, Hand of hatred seems awesome. It's one three. It makes a two one every turn. Just like a really good fodder creature. There's also berserker, which is like okay. Uh, Tribute to Urborg, Strike Team. There's a, a Sojourner, which is obviously really good if you're going to go super, uh, super domain -y. I feel like we already have a lot of top end stuff. Let's take our Hand of Hatred. This card seems sweet. It seems super cool. It's a Branch Rider. Yeah, we have a lot. We have some black stuff going on also. So let's, uh, let's do that. So we get the Hand of Hatred. We get past a Shivan Reef, which again is just worse than the common duels in, uh, in Limited. Choking Miasma, Crusher, Wings, Amplifier. Not really a very good bag for us, honestly. It's a Battle Mage Captain and Amplifier. I mean, the Soul Tender, like, kind of works some of the graveyard stuff, but... Um, this has been the most challenging draft so far. This card's very bad. I would never, never put this card in my deck. Uh, maybe it's sealed if you're, like, desperate for a way to win the game, but... Um, maybe we're amplifier here. Keep the blue dream alive a little bit. Ooh, wow! All right, the blue dream is back. We're back, folks. We're back. Ah, our hero returns. Stormrunner is awesome. Um, don't have that many spells yet, but this card is very, very powerful. We lost this card earlier. Jin is also pretty good. It's kind of clunky, though. It's also a five-power creature for our monstrosities, too, which is kind of nice, so... It's also a dual land, but yeah, take Stormrunner. We're back to blue-red. 
We need some cheap spells. And I guess Flow Sun Infusion fits that bill. But, alright. So now we're looking like we're blue, red. Maybe we're splashing black, but probably not. We'll see. I don't know. I guess we're only, only have three blue cards. They're all double blue, but... Just keeping it open. Keeping it open right now. Bulwark. Probably not making the deck. We have three blue cards. They're all double blue, but they're all very good. Monstrosity is awkward in our deck. With a four power creature in play, it costs four, which is a good deal, obviously. Four mana for a four mana for a five five trample is pretty good. It's not great though. And the floor obviously just like having a totally uncastable card is not good either, so we'll see. There's a dual land, a soaring drake. Let's take the dual land here. Yeah, I'm in. Is such a thing as too open? When do you know you gotta pick, when do you know you gotta pick a lane? Uh honestly, there's so many playables that like I don't I'm like right now we're like probably blue red. Maybe we we know we're red. All right, it's I think it's important to like you at least want to lock in one color. Uh you can't be completely open at the end of pack two. But you can be like locked in on one color and then maybe possibly, you know, one or another color. Um you know, we get past the blight pile. This is the defender one of the defender payoffs. We have like zero other defenders though. I'm taking the card draw spell, I think. Actually, you know what? Let's take the blight pile. We have a lot of expensive cards and not a lot of cheap cards, so the card draw spell is not gonna be as good. Because we're destroying cards we can't cast. Let's take blight pile. So I'm not playing this card. There's a barricade. Because these uh these walls can buy us time to play our actual threats, which is kind of cool. So that's not too bad. Academy wall and barricade. Uh, it's also a sojourner if we're like, we do have two green duels if we wanted to go like kind of crazy. But yeah, Plow Pile is just a good blocker in general. It's just a 3 3, so. Um, let's take barricade here. So we're looking kind of Grix to see. Shield wall sentinel to search for a defender. All right. I mean, maybe we're uh, we're going down this path. Nothing else here is good, so. Soaring Drake, Meteorite. Another Yavama. Oh, my God. This card's so awesome. Uh, Branch Rider, Strike Team. Again, both these cards are good, but, like, we're off colors. I'm just taking this freaking thing. The 2-3 Flyer's fine. Eh. That's, that's too much, actually. Nah, let's, let's take this. I don't even know, honestly. You want to take the, the highest upside card there. So, uh, Interference, Soul, Tender, sure. Another Monstrosity. Scavenger, Turtle, Swarm. Blue is, uh... Blue is slipping a little bit here. Alright, card's bad. Alright. Pack three, come to my rescue here. We need direction. We're taking a few blue cards. Doesn't doesn't feel like blue is very open. Open up and Urtai, not Atari, right? Urtai resurrected. The card's pretty good. Pretty good draft card. Um. Yeah. All right. Right now our mana is not good. Ugh, this has been kind of an ugly one. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we're not taking the land here. We're just taking the, taking the powerful card. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. There you go. There's some lands. Frexian Rager. God, I love Frexian Rager. All right, we're going to take a land, though, here. Let's take the, uh, the blue-black land. Hopefully, we'll table the Rager or the Relic of Legends. Or the land. That'd be, that'd be ideal, but let's take a land. Oh, my God. All right, another uh, red, red, rare. Cost four. A very good card. Four, four, first strike. And obviously we're taking that. So that we have the power level, which is like, we don't really have a deck. You know, like our, our deck is just like kind of some cards. Battle I Mystic is super sweet. Let's look at our cards here, right? We have black. Our black cards all kind of suck, honestly. Maybe we're just like splashing black. 
in which case, like, this is gone, this is gone, this is gone, this is gone. That looks a lot better. This is gone. And then, do I want the land or do I want the Battling Mystic? I think it's still Mystic, honestly. It's just a two-drop or very light on twos. Just playing it and blocking is a, a reasonable thing we have to do that. Another Flowstone Infusion, which is a reasonable removal spell, as far as, like, staying alive goes. The Bulwark's gone. Uh, three off-color duels. We have no real reason to be playing off-color duels, so that's kind of shitty. I guess we could always, like, just take uh, the Tangled, and if we get another one of those over, uh, four sixes, we can play that maybe, but... The Wooded Ridgeline? Jeez. Did I, did I have any of those? I have zero. I should, I, should, I should have taken that card. I was so dumb not to take that card. Uh, I'll take Tribute, I guess. We have a lot of shock effects, unfortunately, which is, like, very redundant, and then not, that much makes it not very good, but... Sabotage! This card's actually, like, kind of okay, but we're, we're not really aggressive, though, so it's not very good for us. Kabu's, like, fine. Alright, cut these lands. Alright, so we have... We're light on playables, but, like, we have plenty of cards. There's, like... You know, we can just play, uh... Some of these black cards. Our mana's not good. That's the... The real problem here is our mana just isn't very good. Uh, but we will make it... We'll do what we can do. Impulse is not great. None of these cards are particularly great. Yeah, blue wasn't very open. And we kept like just getting past good blue cards. And we're like, alright, cool, blue. But like blue wasn't very really there. I think that was our big mistake. This draft was just blue. It just wasn't really open. Um, land, sick. Yeah, um, so we need to add some more playables here. Tide Turner. I mean, Tide Turner's not the worst, as far as, like, just casting our bigger spells. Actually, I don't know spells. Yeah, that's going all right. Um, Barricade. Scavenger. We could play Scavenger if we're desperate for a, desperate for a playable. Goblin Pickers, also, like, playable. We're desperate for a card. Um, Steel Crusher sort of plays okay with the Monstrosities. Yeah. I don't think we're really losing that much, so. I'll get some late picks here that are, like, playable, I guess. Prodigy. Take the, like, Brute's, like, not great, but. Alright. So, our worst deck, I think, by far, so far. Um... We have some good rares, but very not cohesive. Um, so we're at Battle Wing, Tribute, Amplifier, Crusher, Drake. Yeah, like we're playing some like shitters. We have some good rares too, though. So very, very, uh, very, very up and down. <laughs> Oops, all rares, basically, yeah. Um, we're... We're kind of just like three colors. We're kind of like blue, red, splashing black, but not really. Uh, because we're just playing too many black cards to be like... Like that. Honestly, one of these Tide Turners might just make the deck. Ugh. Smash to Dust, Branch Rider. Can't really play any black cards. And the problem is that like three of our blue cards are doubles. So like we can't, we can't splash blue. Uh, so... Doesn't really work well for us. Tide Turner is casting tribute to Urborg. And that's really it. It's not great. It's not great. Do we... If we need to add one more card... I mean... It sucks that we have three green lands too. So we probably could have played those four fives. 3 Sentinel. Might be Blight Pile. Helps make these things cheaper, too. Mm. Frenzy is not very good in our deck. Yeah, this deck's kind of a stinker, but... Play Blight Pile, play these... It's only three lands. Oh, man. Whew. This deck's a little stanky. Um... Just a, it's just like a, this deck was, this drive was really weird though, because we just like, 
Got a good red rare. Red seemed kind of open. Took a good blue card or two that was double, but then blue wasn't really open. Nothing else is really open. Like, I don't, we just didn't find the right open lane. Um, we could just like play a bad mana base and just hope it works. It might, might, might be our best chance to actually win. Um, what are we at? Let's see, we're at 23 playables right now. That's fine. Like, Koja Warbird sucks. You know, it's just not very good. I guess it helps with our uh, our monstrosities if you enlist it. But we have the Outrider we're also playing, too. Ugh. It's next bad. It stinks, folks. Um, that fun part is getting uh, seven wins with it. That's the fun part. Gibbering Barricade. And Barricade plays all of the, uh, the Hand of Hatred. Hmm. Uh, blight pile. I think that's, that's, this, this thing is definitely a blight pile. <laughs> yeah. If we splash blue, like what are we doing? We're losing the lookout, the frost strider, and the storm rider. They're our best cards, and we're splashing blue for what? A freaking scavenger and a soaring drake. We don't have any good blue cards, you know. Like so, we just lose all our playables, and now we're playing like battle why battle fly storm and soul tender over like good actual good cards. So, um, I guess that we have three green lands. We could quick kick this thing. That's not exactly uh super exciting though. All right, this is fine. So we're gonna go. I think this is our deck. Play grotto. We're just, our mana base is bad. It just is what it is. You know, we'll just try and draw the right colors basically. So let's get our islands in. And swamps will be these. Mountains are here. And then we're going to play... It's like too many swamps. We have two... All of our duels are blue and also red. We have... I'm more red than anything, right? 13 red, yeah. So do like that. Probably this. So we have six, seven, eight red sources... Uh, seven blue sources, three, four black sources, not including the grotto. Um, it's not great, but that's our deck, folks. Uh, our first kind of stinker, four drafts in, and that means it's time to place your bets. I don't want to skew y'all or nothing, but place your bets, believer or non-believer, seven wins, yay or nay. What do you think? What do you think, all right? YouTube folks, like I pause the video, scroll down. Like the video along the way. Let's see what we can do here with all scrappy, crappy, shitty Grixis. All right, let's do this. I'm not, I'm surprised the number of believers here. I'm not gonna lie, but if we can do this every time and draw Tron, then uh, we'll be good to go. Keep Tron, go. Nothing. All right. Uh, no amplifier. Go. I think I want to kick this. I think. Oh, now I wish I casted it. Alright, sure. Reinforcements have arrived. Oh, they have Tron also. Alright, so they're number two. It's fine. We hope that they play a creature we can kill here. No? Alright. A Lagmos Hand of Hatred. Them not playing a spell here is super sus. Um, I think I'm fine just playing literally anything else but this, because this card's actually pretty good. It's Kabu or Amplifier. I think it's Kabu. Like Kabu, stick up. Gamers got me. Reinforcements have arrived. Alright, no blocks. Fine. So, I have a cheap trick. I have two, cheap, two tricks, actually. So, play Badgers, say go. We draw a land, we get to Scry. Scavenger bottom, of course, sucks. And then we might just play Amplifier here and leave up Tribute. Um, let's actually do like this. Yeah, play this. Just say go. Now we have our trick up. We, have two, we actually have two have two tricks up. That's fine. So we'll just kill this. Uh, 
Alright. Not ideal. Not the end of the world. We'll draw a Frost. Right now we just can't cast literally any of our spells. <laughs> if we go to our would be great. But we... Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of the Grotto, but I feel like our deck is just like, we just kind of need the, the fixing. I think, I think this card's actively awful, as you can see. Uh, but our mana's pretty bad, so it is what it is. We're going to play, we're at 16. Just play the hand, I guess. We might actually end up using the uh, the Flow Stone with the 2-1 on a later turn to kill this 4-4, uh, four -four, which is kind of sick. So... Sure. There you go. So, our hand's pretty good. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Okay. Here's uh, King Darien. Yeah, that's a problem. Alright. We don't really have a way to kill that at the moment. We draw another island. So, now we can at least Frost Fist Rider. So, let's start by just attacking and see what they do. So now he can't kill it with infusion, unfortunately, but whatever. Play Strider, tap the 5-5. Five five. Obviously a phenomenal stabilizing card. This thing pumps and makes a token. This card is super sweet. Yeah, I like this card a lot. Big fan. Big fan. Alright. Um, they played a Swamp also. Dragon War kills the Tutus. And... What's... Uh, the mana they have up right now is not ideal. They can, make a, they can make a counter on this and so on and so forth. Let's just move the combat first to see how they block my 2-1. My Take two. I think we're just playing Outrider. Like, not really in a huge rush to play Elder Dragon War. I would like to make a little more off of it. And we could use the uh, the Flowstone plus the Elder Dragon War to draw land to kill this thing too. So, I'll just play Outrider. Try the 4 4, Nug number 3. It's funny, the Lord, or the Hand, might trigger off of the, uh, the Dragon War. So this thing, if five creatures have died, I can, go, I can go Demonic Tutor, and the War can definitely make that happen. So, let's see what, uh, the story is. Alright, we're blocking here. We, a Pump Spell, Gaia's Might would be plus four, plus four. Yeah, just put more stuff in front of it. This would make it a 9-9 nine, nine that would kill. Is would kill it. Sure. Block. What do you got? Show me. Kind of sucked, honestly, because we lost our 4-4s, four but what is this? Scion of Ephrava. Domain. Whenever it becomes tap, put a counter on each creature you control. It's upness less than the number of basic land types you control. Jesus. This card's ridiculous. Um, yeah, they're really just doing the whole pumpy thing, aren't they? Let's, um... Let's attack. With our 2-1. We can kill most of their board. This is like so sketchy of an attack, but whatever. Just, uh, alright, so. So we're gonna war, and we're gonna kill most things. We get Demonic Tutor also.
I doubt they would they would uh they would sack us saber tokens. So I don't know what I'm tutoring for yet, honestly. Um Chapter one happens. Alright, now I just kill this with flowstone. Let's uh demonic tutor first. What's the best card in our deck? Each creature card in your graveyard. There's currently three. This is a four drop. Defiler is pretty good. Uh, Urtai is pretty good. Battle Wing's not bad, it's so our hand's pretty empty. This thing isn't doing anything anymore. We're gonna kill this. They will not know what the card is because it, you know, I don't have to reveal it. It's just, it's just demonic tutor. I think it's just discard. Do this. Kill this. Get off my plane. All right. That was pretty sweet, right? Like this thing can kill this thing. They have almost almost nothing left. Sure. No blocks. Oh. Oh. Alright. Um I'm gonna have to discard two here. Sure that land and then the Drake. The Drake's terrible, so just like find something better. Warbrute Storm Runner. We're still gonna kill something with this thing. We gotta kill this, I think, so. Make our token an attack. this time all right you say go we can double block the other four four and then I guess this thing will be, will be in play too so Nothing. They're the outrider here. Obviously, we're trying to die. It sucks, but I mean, whatever. What are you gonna do? Don't outrider me, please. Oh, stabilize, stabilize. No, come on. Oh, we almost pulled that one out. We almost pulled that one out. All right, sure. We're good. No worries. It's fine. Ugh, it's freaking grotto. Stinky grotto. All right, tap land, go. Splatter goblin, sure. Look, that's great. Um... The question here is, are we going to Battle Wing and just trade, or are we going to try and save it for value later? We have Drake into Lookout. This is fine. Let's play Lands. I'm going to just Scry, actually. Let's play Scry Land. Uh, that's our black source. We have Drake into Lookout. Yeah, this is fine. Keep that. Oh, yeah, our deck's not great. Don't get me wrong. We have cards on that deck, for sure. Time for two. Play library. Oh, they're next bad too, at least. Top, top. Inconceivable. Top, top. Get out of here. Maybe I should have played the uh, tribute on the three two. Just now they kill us to get it for five. Maybe we'll see. Snap lock. 
Hello? Warly. Only a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, unless they get more cards in their graveyard. Just look out, I guess. Look out! That was a bad land drop, though. I should play the red land. That was stupid. I have more double reds. Oh, no! Don't do it! They mill over... Milled over a... Wait, what? Oh, it's, just, it's, it's not creatures. It's just cards. That's a 4-4. Four, four. That's still... Alright, I need block here, honestly. Block, trade. Grotto's not good. Uh, don't play this card. It's pretty bad. Alright, Monstrosity's fine. Yeah, it's spell, not creature. We draw the Storm Runner. Uh, Storm Runner's kind of gas. The problem is, like, if we play it, it might just die, but let's play it. Play Runner, say go. It has to attack. Soul Tender number two. This reveals nothing bigger, thankfully. So, like, they're saying they have, like, the plus three, plus oh, first strike. Like, nobody ever bluffs here in silver, like, ever. So, the question is, we attack, we can copy tribute for four mana total, but then, then what, you know? We also kind of want this five power creature in play for a monstrosity. Oh, this is very difficult. Just like never ever bluffing here ever. Monstrosity number two. All right, that's not bad. All right, we're gonna uh, play land. We're gonna play monstrosity. Oh shit! On a black. God damn it. Ugh. Grot is so bad. I was gonna monstrosity and then, and then tribute. I can't do that though. Shit. I can. Not happy at all. Now, I, I I think if we have a Black Source, my play is correct. So I get to play Monstrosity and say go with Tribute up and then blow out their trick. They don't, there's no way they don't have a trick there. There's just no freaking way. Like, so, um, but now I can't do that. So we have to play a trick anyway. What? All right, sure. Um, two, two, th three. Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. I think we just... What is going on? Like, they have three spells in their hand. Um... All right. This has been a really weird game. Wanting it in the graveyard recursion makes no sense at all because it's so unbelievably mana inefficient at this stage in the game. There's nothing, there's nothing good in their graveyard either. So like, play a planes, okay. Like, 
Menace, sack a creature. Another card in the graveyard are that good. Like, you know, like what what's good about these cards in the graveyard? Sure, whatever. Block. Alright. Sure. I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, we obviously we're, we're in silver, so like sometimes your opponent is just making a bad play. You know, that's that that can happen. You know, but you still don't want to like assume your opponent is making a bad play. Um, I mean, now we're just like dead, right? Like we attack, copy. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. So we have three damage right here. That's 15. We attack with everything. If they block... Yeah, like, there's just no way like, like, we could, like... Either they block or they don't. We just pay the two. And then if they block in a manner where this is good, we'll use it. If not, we just kill them. hell is going on? <laughs> what are the rats in the set? It deals, it would be a, uh, it would, it would be minus five, minus five. We're getting freaking, we're getting wrapped, aren't we? You son of a bitch. No. What is going on? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. What is going on? I don't... I I, I have no idea. I, I don't know what happened, folks. I... Yeah, I, I mean, I, it might be a newer player. I don't know what they're doing. I, I, I don't even know. I. Okay, back in the game. What a, what a, whew. Battle fire storm. All right, next game. We're good. Ooh. Oh, aggressive. Toxic abomination. All right. I don't like this raw aggression against our kind of clunky deck, but. How about no good three drop here? Is that possible? All right. We need that second island real bad. Real bad. Give too much credit for silver? That's not true at all. Like, you should always, always give, your, give your opponents credit. Like, all right. So, we're at 11. Taking some beats. Shadow Prophecy, draw two, lose two. Sure. We want to draw an island. Oh, yeah. Go get him, buddy. Now we have Lookout and Destrider. That's a super, super stabilizing element. They have dealt themselves six damage so far. <laughs> Alright, so shields up. Sure, that's fine. They use a trick. Not a problem. We draw a card. They gain some life back. It's just good deck building. Look at top two. We already want the... Uh, Probably the infusion. Can't even cast the other one yet, so. And then play Blight Pile. Alright, Blight Pile it is. Um We got a frosty abomination here, right? I wanna play the, the Storm Runner, but we are behind. Can't afford to play Storm Runner to take take five. I mean, Necromask costs uh, four already, but 
Tied up version. God, this card is bad. Alright, um... Draw a mountain. So we get to play Stormrunner and kill the Apparition, I guess. We gotta kill it before they untap, unless they pump it twice. So, let's attack. But I would like to, uh... To wait? Maybe it's just the monstrosity. Because the runner can't block the abomination. Yeah, I guess it's monstrosity. I'm gonna kill this now. So there you go. Not happy to not play runner here, but we need to 5 5 against this, so. This thing drains for a number of defenders they have. Prefer not to lose to a Toxic Abomination deck, you know, if possible. Um, four. Yeah, alright. Scry. Bottom. Alright, I mean, whatever. Play Necromass, attack for four, but they have removal spell, they have removal spell, what am I gonna do? They have two cards left. I feel like we're probably dead here, but... What's up, Steve? Going to a pre-release sealed or draft event today. Quick tips for doing on the format. Uh, be greedy. Be greedy. Play all your good cards. Grind. Make sure you have a plan for the late game. More effectively at two. Ah, oh, Griffin Detector, no. We're dead on board. No, they're not attacking, thank god. Alright, so uh four and two. Yeah, jam. Not attacking there seems crazy to me, but Sure. It's trades. This thing will kill us in two turns, obviously, but and Pile runner. Let's draw our removal spell, please. Copy that shit and get this thing going. Toxic A bomb. I like Toxic A bomb. That's an old school magic card. Back when cards had drawbacks. Gibbering Barricade. Pump the protector. Oh, it's first dead. Right, whatever. What is this deck? The Blight Abomination Wall deck? <laughs> Alright, sure. Oh, fuck. I didn't record that game. I'm sorry, YouTube. It was a pretty good game, too. I'm sorry. Every once in a while, I screw up. I do live edit my content uh, as I'm on Twitch. I can't afford an editor. Uh, so... I'm like pausing the recording and stuff, and I screwed that one up. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, Nicole, back and fix it. It's not worth the time, honestly. I, I I don't even like them. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Maybe, maybe we'll fix it. Maybe we won't. But all right. Next, let's do our next game here. God. We're brought to you by bcwsupplies.com. The best, the best gear out there, bcwsupplies.com. Promo code Jim 10, 10% off your order, bcwsupplies.com. Go buy the best sleeves in the market, the best deck boxes, binders, card sorting trays, you name it, they got it, bcwsupplies.com. It's the gear. I've literally used their gear for the last, like, seven years. It's the best gear out there. Check it out, bcwsupplies.com. Uh, promo code Jim 10, 10% off your order. Ugh. Sorry. Shaking my table and stuff. I gotta reset all my crap up. Alright, and it's good. We can cast all our spells. Play tap land. Well, I guess we can cast most of our spells, but. Alright, we got a salvaged mana worker. Defiler of instinct. Alright, sure, whatever. So we just play a uh, Grotto, get our scry on. It's a swamp. We, like, kinda want it, but. We also kind of don't. Cast a Filer. We can cast Monstrosities. And that's pretty sweet. Um, we have a Black Source already, kind of. I was going to bottom it. He's going to get greedy. Give me, give me some spells. Give me some spells, you know? Hopefully they play a 3-2 here and I can just kill it. 
get our Defiler Instinct. Salvage Mana Worker. Filters Mana. Oh, oh, they're making a blue. Double blue? You got me. Good filter. Good filter. And then no attacks? Alrighty then. Draw land anyway, sure. I mean, I'll just take a swap over an island, but... Now we're attacking. And no land. So the fear here is they have a uh, a remove soul, which would be absolutely devastating. So we, we can't we don't if we cast this, we can't if this doesn't resolve, we can't cast these either. Um It's somewhat likely they're just mana screwed. I'm gonna wait. I'm so patient. Ideally, they play a card that I can kill. We'll see. All right. Neighbors being obnoxious. Neighbors like or whatever. It's great. Perfect. Look at that. Now it's no fear Shakespeare. Just cast it a file or do your thing. There you go. What was the problem with the internet? I don't know. It was some issue on the pole. They replaced the machinery. They fixed it. I'm happy. That's all I know. Void Sea Scavenger. Now, my, my monstrosities cost three. I can just play it for four, though, honestly. And we can dink stuff, too. Um, three and three is not enough. Scavenger. Hmm. We gotta kill this, I think. Yeah, so I'm just going to go with this attack. Attack with this. We're in rehearsals for a production of Much Ado About Nothing? Awesome. Who are you, who are you playing? Play this for four. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Cast this for regular. And we'll think for one. We could kill the uh, the Drake. But we're going to kill this. I'm going to kill this now. I'll tap that too. So, we have nine power in play till they're three. So, we're behind on life, but we have a much better board. And now this thing costs... Oh, wait. Did I screw up? I screwed up. I could have spent four life to play both monstrosities. I'd be at eight right now. That would have been risky. I, I, I wasn't thinking about the extra point on the monstrosity. All right, well, now we lost that. But that's fine, I think. That's a lot. Taking four is a lot. So... Tribute to Urborg. Uh, I do wish I had that swamp. Uh, in retrospect. Attack. I could like aggressively flowstone infusion. Uh, and then cast the monstrosity and the scavenger. I don't actually hate that. Truth be told. We infusion... Get in for seven. Then we have Monstrosity for one red and Scavenger for three mana. I actually kind of like that. We're going to do it. We're in. I I'll just do it. I'm in. Let's go. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Take seven. This card's obviously very good with uh, pump spells. Scavenger will look at the top two. This card's so bad. Arnak is filler central. Cut down. Whatever, sure. And then we're gonna put one of these in my on top of my library. I don't want either one of these. Uh alright. Monstrosity number two. So they're at eight, and I have two five five tramplers and a removal spell. Can't kick it, because we have no freaking mana, but they play a six six? Alright. That's okay, we can beat that. So you just give them minus two, minus two, attack them both. I can decline? Ah, huh? well, I didn't know that. All right, well, there you go. All right, so Tribute of Urborg, uh, this thing. Wait, they take one, and I'm sorry, they, they take that much. They go to five. Just don't cheese me out here.
Critical Iron didn't realize it. Three Forge Wife and an Aerionaut. But with another tribute here, I think they're just dead. So, in for two. Damn, that's aggressive. Yeah, like, they're just dead. So, uh, attack with both. They have to, like, double block one and single block the other. And then when they single block, I'll just kill with the tribute. So, actually, I'm sorry. I only have three. It'd be, it'd be minus four, minus four. Yeah, they're just dead, though. So, we do this. And now we, uh, minus four, minus four this. They take five and trample. So, four damage. We're going to kick this and hit this. It's not going to be dead. And trample over for lethal. And, yay. That's the game. Blouses. Take it. The goal is always no bad drafts. You want to at least get 3-3, even your bad drafts. Don't tank. Don't have an 0-3 draft. Don't have a 1-2 draft. So at least try and pull it out. So we're 3-2 now, and uh, either we lose here, I'm still feeling okay about it. I like some more wins, obviously, but um, definitely nice. We could actually be, like, hyper-aggressive with this Amplifier and this Flow Stone and pump the cast this thing again. This card's actually sweet. It's a fun synergy card, the Monstrosity. If we cast the Amplifier like this, we can cast it, pump it. It would have... Five power. This will cost three. It's still not enough, though. Um, I think it's just go. Legacy Goblins Trophy? Cool. <laughs> ah, fellow Chucker, eh? Sure. More brute. This is, uh... Sand's getting kind of sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, alright... I think we just hold this. I don't really see a reason to play it. Like, the body is not very good on this board. We just draw land, play Warbrute. We can kill this if we have to. Trig one. Okay. And they're going to play General Figment. I'm just going to kill that. All right. Land. Bingo. All right. All right. So war brute me. Now one more land I can kick this. Any land I can kick it, and any 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 island is really really good too. So not a great card, but it's fine. You know, just fine as it is. Interesting. Impede momentum. Three stun counters. Scry one. Definitely a kind of card where it's hard to know how good this card is because it's a new mechanic. How many stun counters were worth one card? We don't know. Honestly. So, in for three. Fine. Uh, oh, God. Urgh. Playing Amplify here is just terrible. So, we should say go. Don't get... Oh, he didn't cast this. What's the point in casting this? It's a one-two. Uh, we're not pumping it at all. It's not blocking anything effectively. It's just like, you might as well save it for later, which is no point in putting it in play. You don't have to cast things, you know? They get a Flowstone Infusion attack for one, and we don't draw land. All right. I guess we're, we're pretty dead now. Um, also don't want to bounce this either. God. Just killing me here. Uh, we're playing this. We're playing it to Chump, which is just awful. Yeah, we're just saying go, I guess. Later, M. You wouldn't. Oh, they're going to timely interference? Sure. Alright, we're nine. Please stop playing things, thank you. Ugh. All right. Please be out. That's two already. Three? Oh, my God. We drew the land. All right. That's a start, at least. So, now I can at least Frost Giant and, like, maybe buy a little time. This thing can potentially be five with the infusions, but I'm going to tap the this thing. So, let's see what happens. Let's 
It's got Ward. The Brute untaps next turn. So if we can survive this turn, it's a pretty big win. Or not, whatever, sure. Six Laurel. All right. Uh, pay the ward, kill my thing, in for six. Um, we draw a mountain. We can go look out Amplifier here. They just have, like, double Rebel Spell, though. We're at three, and they have multiple three-power creatures. Yeah, we're just dead. Uh, yeah, it's tough. Obviously, we, like, stumbled a little bit. Um, we, like, actively don't want to bounce their things, either. So, one, two... They only have one mountain, that is true. But we just died in the they just kill one thing. This is and they have three th they have three three power things. So And we're just dead. So Their flyers on twelve damage already? And what was I gonna do? Chump block it? Like what's what's the benefit? You know, like it's not like we were trading with it. This literally doesn't do anything. It's a freaking one two. So, um, yeah, we're just dead, whatever. All right, that's things. They're, they're, they're actually pretty good. They're like a little mana screw, they're still, they're still killing us here. Micromancer's pretty good. We just stumbled. I mean, I mean our deck is awful. Our deck is bad. Our rider to kill it? To kill what? When's the untap update come? I'm not sure, honestly. It's like starting to roll out already, I think, so we're just dead. All right, I'll take a 3 3. This deck was awful. Uh, was awful. Very, very bad deck. So, 3-3 three, three here, uh, it's fine. You know, our deck, we, we floundered around a bit. We didn't really do a good job picking a, picking a, a color. We had some rares, but our mana base was bad. The deck was just bad, basically, all around. Uh, which is fine. You know, we're kind of, our, our first train wreck of a deck. All three decks before us felt pretty good. We had some bad beats here and there, but this deck was just actively very bad. So, take a look at it. I'm on uh, untapped.gg. Um... Yeah, like, just no no real plan, no curve. The idea was to kind of be, like, a Grixis removal kind of card draw control -y deck. But, like, we just didn't really get the cards for it. Uh, we're playing some real shitters here. Like, the deck just isn't, isn't good. Uh, mana base is terrible. It happens. You know, bad drafts. Episode 4, Bronze Mythic in the books. Like, comment, subscribe, do all your usual crap. I love you all, all right? And uh, we'll see you for episode 5. Thanks, folks. Appreciate it. Have a good one.